Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. Today I have another news video for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and cover a lot of topics today of news updates that have been happening with Caspa. And to start, let's get into those statistics. So right now, Caspa's price is currently sitting at about 15 cents. And the current volume in the last 24 hours is $39.5 million. And that puts us at a current market cap of $3.58 billion, with a ranking being number 25. The current supply of Caspa is about to approach $24 billion. This is equivalent to about 83.60% mined. Our current hash rate is 366 petahashes, which is absolutely insane because this has literally Really been skyrocketing like in the last month and the highest hash rate is currently sitting at 374 petahashes the current reward per block is 104 caspa the next reward is going to finally approach under 100 caspa and that's going to be happening within the next 13 days but it's going to be 98 caspa per block so it's going to be happening on the 5th of july so right now our current active addresses as well has approached 358,164 active addresses. If we go over to Caspalytics, we could see here that the mined blocks by Rust nodes has approached about 94%. And I have not seen this gone up or gone lower than this. It's pretty much been stuck here. So it's pretty much safe to say that pretty much everyone that needed to transfer over to rust has probably already done it whoever is remaining is probably not that significant but it would be nice if the last six percent of blocks that are not being mined by rust would transfer over because it is good to see that the community is responding and updating their nodes so that we are all on board with this rust migration if we're looking at the inactive supply we could see that in the last three months here over 65 percent of caspa has still yet to move if we're looking in the last six months we could see that is at 41 percent of caspa has not moved at all in the last year this has actually started to decline, but very, very little. It's still sitting at about 21% of Caspa has not moved. And in the last two years, it's approaching 5% of the supply has not moved in over two years. So clearly this trend is just showing that there are a lot of holders in Caspa and they're not willing to move it around right now because they are pretty much anticipating for the future adoption and growth that Caspa is expected to see. And now to begin, there are a load of things that have been happening with Caspa. To begin, Cas Media is a brand new website that was created. I believe it was created by the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation and Cas Media is almost kind of similar to like Bitcoin Magazine, but just kind of focus in on articles related to Caspa. And here's just a little bit more insight on Cast Media. Cast Media is now live. We are a team of industry experts upholding Caspa's vision to be a stateless world reserve currency and the best layer one for smart contract applications. We provide research on chain analytics and news coverage for everything Caspa. Come see us at castmedia.com. Next, I reposted this clip from a stream that had Shy mentioned something within it that is really important. On this post, I said, it wasn't too long ago when I said, I get cast before people realize it's an ETH competitor. I was mocked. But once again, if you know, you know. Let's go ahead and take a listen. My personal wish is to see eventually uh, like a stable coin like USD, mm -hmm. a known stable coin like USDT on, uh, operating on, on KRC20 and I think that will be just like a blast uh, for usability. Might happen sooner than you think. KRCD? Um, so we what just, I was we saying... Had a leak. We just had leak though. We, I, I, see, he just said it might happen faster than you think. That means they're already working on it. That, that, that's a, just a leak right there. I saw that. I saw that, Shai. You, you, you guys I already... just shared a general observation. Don't course, get too much into it. <laughs> yeah. so, Love it. <laughs> what I'm saying... What I'm... So there you have it, Shai kind of like hinted that uh, a USDT stablecoin or a USDC stablecoin may be coming to Caspa much sooner than we think. And if you don't already know, like the stablecoin market is a very, very big market. So Caspa getting into this will be able to bring billions of dollars of volume if 
this is successful and stable coins can come to caspa so in my honest opinion th these are the only type of tokens that i'm actually very interested in seeing on caspa and that's going to be stable coins so next we have a new listing for caspa listed on coin w next what we have that has recently come out was yonatan samplininski's clip of him speaking at the caspa israel meetup has finally been released on youtube and he did speak in hebrew so it has been translated to english and you do have to read the subtitles to be able to understand what he's saying but nonetheless this has finally been released and there was some interesting points that he brought up and discussed there related to caspa next we have another swap exchange that has recently listed caspa it's called lex exchange they say here new crypto alert cas powering the ultra fast casper currency network is now up for grabs on let's exchange with over 4500 coins and tokens to choose from it's time to diversify your portfolio here's how you can get in on the action so here's just another swap exchange that is listing caspa which just continues to bring the caspa adoption to the world next ample posted to support the transition of casper currency from golang to rust the tech team of ample has taken the initiative to update the notes today congratulations to casper for achieving another milestone in their development we will continue supporting this great project if you don't already know ample is like number eight when it comes to pools running on the casper network and nodes that are connected to them but Bitcoin, when it comes to Bitcoin, Ampool is actually the second biggest pool that are confirming blocks on the network. So it is really good to see that Ampool is posting about Caspa because this does get the Bitcoiners to possibly see Caspa and maybe consider researching it and possibly consider to start mining it as well. Next, we have a post here from Woofy, and it's him taking a selfie with Adam Swick. If you don't know who Adam Swick is, he says in his bio here, growth at Marathon. And also previously, he's been involved with some kind of venture capitalist. He's also been involved with Kraken. But if you don't know what Marathon is, Marathon is a company, and it says a global leader in leveraging digital asset compute to support the energy transformation marathon digital holdings is the biggest company that is mining bitcoin and adam swick was recently at this event with caspa he was actually even one of the speakers that were speaking in regards of caspa so clearly this is evidence that big miners companies are getting involved with caspa and just because of this fact alone is showing that pretty much caspa does have a very bright future and is here to stay the biggest company in proof of work mining that mines bitcoin today is interested in caspa so this is huge news for caspa and will only continue to help caspa's growth this whole event was in vegas and bitmain was also kind of like sponsoring caspa as well so they were working together you can also see that adam swick was also a part of the event and he was sponsoring caspa pretty much speaking for caspa so caspa is definitely getting the big players to get involved and get interested into caspa this was shy speaking at the event he was able to present caspa to whoever was at this event next i have another clip for you guys that had some of the caspa contributors in a stream with another content creator and i want to let you guys go ahead and listen into this because there was some very good things mentioned about caspa in here days ago but any alpha that you guys want to give to the Casper community? Because, you know, they watch these videos on YouTube all day long looking for information. And so any any little nuggets or breadcrumbs you can drop at the doorstep here? I think the smile you're saying is the smile of uh, discreetness. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can't name names. We can't be explicit. Um, but uh, I think we will all agree that some very interesting big players uh, several of them from several different walks of life, either from inside or from outside the crypto world. Um, they are eyeing us and they are in contact mm -hmm. with us and they have some big plans. And even if only a few of them follow through, it would be huge for Casper. Yeah. And I'm assuming you can't 
say the name. No, no, definitely not. We're in we're in rooms with some of them, and and, and yeah. that's mm-hmm. it's been beneficial to be there at Vegas to you know the last couple of days. There may have been some some great conversations that are happening. So absolutely, mm-hmm. and uh, you know I I started with Caspa not not as. Uh, Long ago, as uh, shy, obviously, but uh, I was I was there uh, on the main network when it was two weeks old. So, uh, in the first, you know, I'd say the first the first two years, it was just the community. It was literally, uh, you know, solitary human beings. Pers- personal. It was driven by personal, you know, uh, volunteers and fans and and holders and miners. Uh, and now, in the, just this year, we've seen. Um, you know, uh, enterprises, institutions, and large large entities uh, from around the world uh, beginning to express interest and let us know in their own way. They 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 either an, you know they anticipate to participate or they are currently participating uh, in some form or interacting with the Caspa network. So uh, that's great. Uh, even the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation is is a good example of that. Um, that's, that's funded by some, you know, decently sized, uh, you know, enterprises from over in the Asian, uh, area and, uh, you know, to, to have them, uh, you know, uh, them and, and Bitmain paid for, uh, the, the hotels here, you know, so to have, to have enterprise, uh, also contributing to raise up CASPA, mm-hmm. not only just people, individuals, uh, is, is a great, you know, next step for the project. So there you have it. You just have more confirmation that Caspa is getting attention of bigger entities, which is just really great for the adoption of Caspa. And I just want to point out that it's crazy that Caspa is getting this kind of attention. And Caspa is a completely fair launch project that is already 83.60% mine. I can't tell you enough that like Caspa's emission schedule truly is just much better than Bitcoin's emission schedule is going to be much more decentralized and much more fair than Bitcoin because all these major entities are not able to now get into Caspa and be able to uh, suck out all the rest of of the supply. 83% is already gone to whoever are the miners. These bigger entities that have to come in are only working with about 15% of the supply that is left. So that is just really, really great to see that Caspa is finally getting the attention of the big players. And this should eventually just kind of reflect in the price action of Caspa and reflect in the amount of people that continue to talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that entire video. And before we go, if you have not gotten yourself your own cold storage Tandrum card so that you can secure your Caspa online, Tandrum does have an exclusive Caspa Tandrum card set. And there's currently still 144 left. If you use my code Caspa Silver at the checkout, you can get 10% off of this item. And I do receive a commission for that, but it greatly supports the channel. So I really do thank you if you do decide to use my code. But this is a really great way to keep your Caspa offline and off exchanges. It is never safe to keep your coins on exchanges. If they're on exchanges, they don't actually belong to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And as always, don't be average, be different.